Okay, so you own an ASUS motherboard and you're trying to use the ASUS Aura software to control your RGB lighting. No, nothing's working right. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Okay, here's what we're going to fix today. Currently in ASUS software on versions 1.0735 and 1.0736, um, there is an issue where you have an administrative error where it will not allow you to open the software. They have all, um, rolled out their newer versions, 10755 and 57, that were supposed to fix some of those issues, but now, instead of getting those administrative uh, certificate errors, you are getting uh, an error message that says, Aura has stopped working. It's really annoying. You go on their forums and they have multiple I mean, so many complaints about this and zero resolution from ASUS directly. Um, that I'm going to show you what it actually, what the problem is generally and how to fix it so you can get things working with the newer software. Okay, so first things first, we're just going to take a look at um, the ASUS Republic of Gamers forums. Uh, when you get into here, you, there is a lot of issues or a lot of people, I should say, that are complaining about various issues. Um, first, we're going to start off the, with the fact that ASUS themselves says they recommend that you use some really old software, which is 1.06.17, which is from April 20th of 2018, so over a year old. They're flat out telling you that they don't recommend that you use the newest software versions that they've come out with over and over again mostly because they just don't work. Uh, currently on this machine, I'm gonna start from a 10617 just to show you that it does work, and then what happens when you do install uh, the versions that they are now saying that are available, and the I'll show you the complaints that are happening. Uh, and you're gonna see here that there are multiple things being talked about. It, this thread alone has 20 pages, uh, and that's at 10735, which covers 10735 and 36. You're going to come down here and you're going to see multiple complaints. Uh, first off in here, these 46 pages are almost all complaints about the fact that the, the software itself doesn't work. And you're going to come down here and see ASUS version 10736 released 4.4, unable to launch, app blocked by administrator, app blocked by administrator. Again, another ASUS problem with how they've got their software written and uninstalled. And I'll show you that again. ASUS Aura can't see my motherboard. Um, RIP ASUS Aura. It's just nothing but complaints about Asus Aura software, which, you know, what are you going to do? It, that's just how they are. Asus doesn't seem to care. Their continual statements throughout their forums are uninstall and reinstall, which is ridiculous because it doesn't do you any good because even when you follow their installation guidelines, which are very clear, and they're showing right here, as to what you want to do to follow the steps to uninstall and reinstall. And in fact, we're going to do that right now. I'm going to uninstall the current software after I show you that it does work. Um, we're going to uninstall it and then we're going to follow these directions specifically. I'm going to put them off to the side here so that you can see that I'm following the directions. I've done this so many times. I know what they are, but regardless, we're going to go ahead and do it. Uh, so first, Asus 106, or I should say Asus Aura 10617 from April of 2018 does work. I don't have any issues with it opening. Um, it doesn't seem to fail. It doesn't see my uh, um, some of my stuff here, like GPU and LED strips and whatnot, but that's fine. You know, it, it still, this does work. It syncs fine. So first we're going to go ahead and we're going to uninstall this according to their rules. Now, this would be an update clean install. So the first thing it wants me to do is going and uninstall your current Aura apps in this order. So I don't have Galaxy Gamer, but I do have Asus Aura. So we're gonna go ahead, or the Aura service, I should say. So we're gonna go in here to Programs and Features, and we're gonna do it the way they want us to do it, right? So we're gonna go down to Aura. Now, 10617 doesn't have Aura service. That's one thing I'm gonna point out here. So that might be part of the problem, but regardless, we're gonna go ahead and uninstall it the way it says to do it. Yeah, uninstalling Aura. After I finish this uninstall. Wait, actually, you know what? I apologize. 10617 doesn't require a restart. 
but we will do it anyway here in a moment. Perform a cleanup with Asus, the Aura Cleaner. Now I'm gonna show you that. I do have that saved. And where did I put that? Not Aura, I, I made a folder for this. So we're gonna go ahead and right click, run as administrator. And that's all it does. It's just a quick flash and does, and it's done, okay? So now it wants me to go ahead and perform a cleanup of the registry with the CC Cleaner, which I love this program, actually. It works great. Okay, we're gonna go registry. Scan for issues. Found a couple things here. Actually, one thing I should say about the Aura. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that by deleting it. Close, I'm gonna scan again just to be safe. And then I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and restart the um, desktop here. And we'll come back in and I'll run the rest of this as it's showing. Okay, I'm rebooted here and I've gone ahead and done the CC cleaner. Now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna install 10, uh, is it 736? Here, I'll show you. 10736 is what we're gonna install first here um, this way you can show see one of the errors that seems to pop up frequently it wants you to run it as administrator to do the install we're going to run it and then it's going to ask us to restart here which will just be a moment. So now it's done everything and I'm gonna go ahead and restart my computer now. Okay, we're back to the desktop here again and now it wants us to go ahead and launch it by doing the uh, run as administrator. So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna go right click, run as, as the administrator and here is the first issue you get. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the next one that we're gonna get when we uninstall this one and we're gonna reinstall the latest software. So that way you can see what that problem is. And then I'll show you how to fix it all. install the latest version of Aura, which is on their site as uh, 10757. Now so we're going to go ahead and, and you're going to see the different error message we're going to get on this one. Okay, again, running it as the administrator for the uh, install. Takes a moment here. It's gonna ask us to restart the, the PC. We're gonna come back and you'll see the next error message that we will get, which is different than the first one. Okay, here we are back to the desktop again. We're gonna go ahead and launch the Aura via the desktop running as administrator. And that is the message that we get. Aura has stopped working. So now I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So how do we fix that? Well, here's the thing. There's something going on in the background with the lighting service. I'm gonna show you where this is at that's causing the problem. So if you go into your program files and you go into lighting service, something's happening in this folder that isn't being corrected or taken care of when we're doing the uninstall and reinstall of the, the uh, um, programs as Aura would like us to. So what we're gonna do here is real simple. Okay, so here's what I did to fix this. Went into Revo Uninstaller. 
And I just downloaded the free version, uh, the 30 day trial. There's no reason to buy it unless you really want to keep it. Uh, I, that's what I did right now. So um, I went to Revo service. I'm gonna un uninstall this, or the Aura service, which takes a second for it to do its thing. I want to scan, let it clean up its stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these items. So those are gone now. Okay, and then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to delete this folder. Okay, empty the recycle bin. Next, I'm going to uninstall Aura. Which again, takes a second. And then I'm going to go into CC Cleaner. I know it's a little redundant, but you never know if it's going to find something or not. Which, in this situation, it did. Okay, no registry issues found. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and restart the computer. So I got a clean start. We're gonna install it and I'll show you that things will work. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reinstall the 10757 again. And it's gonna reinstall everything we need here and you'll see that in a moment. So first things first, go ahead and just run this installer. Obviously when it's done, it's gonna have us restart again. We will do that and I'll show you the finished product that everything works. All right, first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and try to run it as the administrator. And voila, everything works. Now, here's what I will tell you. Um, I'm gonna set this to how I like it first. Do my gradient, I go that, maybe a little slower, hit apply. Now everything's how I like it running. But anyway, so first thing I'm gonna show you is there is a chance that it may say lighting service isn't installed or there was a problem with Asus um, the Aura service, lighting service specifically. And what it's re referencing is the installation of this folder and specifically this application. If that were to happen, all you have to do is go back into your installation folder and right here there's a lighting service, just rerun it and that will solve your problem. But now, no more problems with it having administrative issues like what uh, 10736 and 35 did or it just no more of the failed to work or Asus or uh, has stopped working as you'll get in 10755 and 57. Um, hopefully that helps. We're going to wrap this up. And there you have it. It's that simple. It works. Why Asus doesn't release this so that people know how to fix this problem uh, as a whole is beyond me. Um, I'm going to get it posted on their forum, so hopefully some people have some ideas as to how easy it is to fix this problem. But uh, it is very annoying that a company that large doesn't truly resolve the issues and let you know, hey, we're sorry, here's the fix. Uh, they just truly, the perception that they give is that they don't care. Anyway, hopefully you liked today's video. If you did, you know what to do. If you didn't like it, you know what else to do. Hopefully it's not that. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. Let me know uh, in the comments if you've got uh, any questions or if you've got any ideas for future content. Uh, anyway, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you next week.